I want to make a belt. And what are belts made of? Leather. Now I have acquired some leather. Uh, a few months ago I took apart a sofa and got like, what was it, 14 kilos or something of lots of lovely premium leather. Looks wonderful on this side, this side not so much, but that's alright. Because this side's the side you're going to see. So I want to make a belt. But, I don't want to buy a buckle. Now I've said it a few times and I'll say it again. Only suckers buy things. So I'm going to make a belt without a buckle. Now I'm not quite sure exactly how this is going to work. But I'm going to do it, then hopefully it should work. So let's get started. I have quite a slender build and my waist measures 33-ish inches and my leather is 42 or something long. So I'm just going to use the full length of the leather to maximise the length of the belt I'm going to get. Leather has a very rough, not straight edge, so I'm going to give it a new straight edge using my custom leather cutting tool. I should mention that I have absolutely no leather working experience or even tools, which means I'm going to be using common tools, three specific or three at all, a knife, which is a kitchen knife with the tip broke off, so I rounded it to look like a butcher's knife, a mallet, and an awl to get hit by the mallet. And this is just a nail with a piece of wood on the end that I can hammer with. So I'm just starting by cutting one clean edge on it. With one clean edge cut, now I can measure and mark and then cut the second edge. I'm going to make it four centimeters thick. So the belt's been ripped down to four centimeters, and now I'm gonna cut this end round, and I'm just gonna use this cap to draw a circle. Roundish. Now with the round end cut, I need to mark and then consequently cut two slots. Now my mallet and punch can come into place because I want to punch these four holes uh, as the top and bottom of the slot so it needs a nice clean cut. And now for the slot but I'm feeling confident, so I'm just going to freehand it. There we go. Now with these two slots cut, that's this end finished. Now I can zoom over to the other end. Start work on this. Now if you can recall, I said my waist length was about 33 inches. But I'm going to scoot back to 27 inches, which is what, six, seven inch difference, and I'm gonna make a mark. Now at the 27 inch mark, and to the end, I'm going to draw a line down the center of my piece. I can once again punch a hole, and now make a cut. And the final thing to do is round over the edges of these two straps and I have this bolt which is like a built-in washer and it is the perfect diameter. Now this here is my normal belt. It is that one and this belt is 
a good bit longer, so that's better because in case I ever get fat, I'll need a longer one. And on top of it, this one is dark on one side and slightly lighter on the other side. Now, how it works, it's a bit strange with this thing on the front, but how it works, I'm going to do it on my chest here so you can actually see what I'm doing. So you bring it up like this, then you take one of the loops and you put it through one of the holes, such, and you put another one of the loops through the top hole, it's a bit awkward, as such, pull her tight, and you form a knot, but instead of tying a knot, just pull one of the loops through, and there you go, done. Now it does look a bit rough, but some people might even say it looks fashionable. Uh, it's very good, very strong, not coming out unless, pull that, pull this, there you go, and it is very, very, very strong. So, thank you very much for watching, uh, this is my first leather project, and I got this leather for free in fact, and I did a video here, here-ish, somewhere, where I stole it, stripped it from a sofa, and I'm hopefully going to do some more leather stuff, so that will be coming soon.